Hey, this is Elgin from the Crack House Boss Podcast, back with another Turtle Thursday video here on YouTube. Today we're going to be looking at another of the Turtles of Grayskull line. Today we're going to be looking at Leonardo. That's right. Uh, we're going to open up, take a look, and look at another of these crossover figures in just a minute. back we got the figure off the card so let's take a look at the card here on the back uh of course the front is a uh, heroic ninja turtle leader that's leonardo uh, there he is up there on the he-man of course on the back we got him attacking shredder there so we are going to get a shredder figure in wave two uh it does include a comic book an explosion from the technodrome sends the teenage mutant ninja turtles across dimensions to eternia now augmented with tech from Man-at-Arms Armory, Leonardo leads his brothers into battle for the power of Grayskull. Uh, of course, you can combine his katanas together to make the power katana. Uh, of course, cross sell with mutated He-Man, Man-at-Arms, and then the Donatello, which we looked at last week. Uh, like I said before, he does come with a... Uh, comic book. It's the same comic book as before by the power of pizza. So looks like they're doing what the Origins did and pack the same comic with every figure from every wave. So every wave has the same comic book. So wave two up a different comic book, etc. Um, so put that over there. Of course, it does come with the parts list. What the removable parts? Uh, what you can remove. And it looks like. He comes, that little piece they had extra is another arm, uh, armor. Of course, we have the, the katanas that's split apart. So he has his two katanas. Of course, we can combine those to make the power katana, as they say. Uh, it was a little bent, but we can combine it into one, which I think is very cool. But they've done that. So that's the power katana. So let's take a look at the figure. Like I said before, this was an extra piece that wasn't attached. It does go on his arm, so that's that. He got to take his hand off to do that. But here's the figure. He looks very good. Correct coloring and everything. With his color, the big L on his chest. A little um, turtle on his belt there as well. Um, shell armor. Um, he even has like a little fur accent on the back as well. I believe this this does come on his shield sh or his shell should come off like that as a as other to act as a shield like that. Um, looks like I put that back. Um, very cool. Um, it looks like you can put his sword there. If you put it in the Power Katana version, um, you can possibly get it back in there like that. That's cool. Looks like that. Um, but yeah, it looks very cool. Really digging these crossover Ninja Turtles. Like I said before, it's kind of a, a, a dream <laughs> uh, toy line, I guess. Um, after I had uh, started... Collecting Master Universe, the next toy line I, I started getting a lot of was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So there, I just put that on there on his arm. I had to take off his hand, then attach that there, and then put it there. So it gives him an extra um, layer of protection right there. So it looks very cool. Got Leonardo the leader, of course. And uh, but yeah, here he is. <laughs> he looks awesome. Um, but yeah, some good, I don't know, it just, combination of like He-Man and Leonardo, it just works so well. Um, ooh, I took that sword out of there. But yeah, it just, these are, these are awesome. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but these are just really cool. And glad that they actually got made. Um, like I said, it's kind of a dream come true for, for me to have this type of toy. Um, 
something I didn't think was ever really going to get made, I guess. I, I just never thought that they would cross over. Ouch. <laughs> Stab me with the sword. Oh, those are stuck on there. Uh, but we can put both of his swords in his hands, his katanas, or just drop them on the floor. Like I usually do. And stuff. Um. They just want to fall out. Ugh. Just keep dropping stuff on the floor. There you go. You can kind of hold them. They look giant in his hands. <laughs> like extremely large. Which is weird. They're like as tall as he is. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, those are his katanas. He has the same articulation as an origin figure. Um, but yeah, except he's just a turtle <laughs> instead. So yeah. If you find them, pick them up. They're very cool. Um, would recommend them to anyone who likes both of the lines. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you know when a video like this comes out, which will be on a Thursday for Turtle Thursday. Uh, be sure to go to our website, www.cracktaskboss.com. Website's place to go for all the things you need to know, like links to our social media, our podcast, which comes out every other Tuesday. Download wherever you listen to podcasts. Our sponsor, Toy Hacks at ToyHacks.com. For all your replica labeled needs, go to ToyHacks at ToyHacks.com. Every month we have a caption contest where we give away a $5 coupon if we pick you, the person commenting, and we if we pick you, we'll give you a $5 coupon for Toy Hacks. So check that out uh, every month. Of course, you can check out our Amazon wish list. It's uh, my birthday coming up pretty soon in March, uh, mid-March, so you don't have to do it, but it would be awesome, uh, of course, to uh, send a gift over this way, wink, wink, uh, and I'll give you a shout out and do a video like this and show everyone in the world what cool thing you got. Of course, no pressure, of course, to get that, um, but it would be an awesome thing to see, do. Anyway, um, if you're feeling the uh, itch to be generous, generous generous and you want to scratch it uh then i recommend doing that of course uh all those things can be found at our website www.cracktasticplastic.com this has been leonardo from the turtles of grayskull saying see you later i would say ciao for now